Hi and welcome to Pumpkin's Nail Station. Today I'm going. It's probably going to be short-ish. Um, basically, I found this little tool on eBay that looks like this. So it's got like a little incision in it, and then this goes in there like that. And what you do is you put your nail accessories in there, flatten them, and then it gives it more of a curve to sit on the nail there. So it will sit flat basically, that's what it does. So this video is basically how to make your nail accessories a bit flatter to fit on your curved nails. So I'm just going to show you with a typical, you know, design type figure like a circle or something which would be the best thing to show it you on. So I've got some circles here. So I'm just going to, because these have already got a little bit of a curve in them anyway, make sure it goes in curve side down, like that. So make sure it goes in just like that. Let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see what's going on. Okay, so you can see what's going on a little bit better now. So the accessory is in there like that with its natural bend already in it. And then we're going to get this bit with the flat side facing up. And we're going to pop it on top. And then flatten it down onto the tool, to the accessory like that. So you may need to bring it up here a little bit. So you just flatten it down, give it a good press and a, and a wiggle like that. So that you get a nice arch in the design. And then I'm going to get my accessory um, it's not that brush. It's this brush. So I'm just going to get a little gel brush what I've got here and pop it onto a nail stick. So say we'll pop it onto this purple glitter one or something for now. So you get a good bit of the paste on it like that. And just pop it where you want it. So like that. Get your tweezers. Pick up your accessory. Make sure it's the way that you want it, so it's like curved side facing downwards. And then pop it on... <laughs> Wait. Get it. Make sure it's curved side downwards. And pop it onto the nail and then just manoeuvre it round a bit. I'm not the best at this. Now I'm just going to check it's flat. And it's nice and flat. So basically just make sure it's all it's all flat all the way down. I mean you can check it's nice and flat before you fit it if you want, but that is lovely and flat now. So there's no there's no like, you know sometimes when you've got a nail accessory and it's like lifting up at the side. Well this is nice and flat all the way around. There's no like lifting or anything. I'm just gonna cure that for about 30 seconds. So I'm gonna focus back in on the table. And we'll get another shape now. Probably get something, try something a little bit smaller. And we'll get our next tip. I've picked these because they're quite rounded, these little tips are. So we'll pick something a little bit smaller and see if it works with that. So we'll pop that into there. That side. 
Make sure the back side up is facing upwards. Pop it in there. I mean, you could put more than one of those in there, I suppose, if you wanted to. Do more than one at a time. There must be something like stuck to that. So I'm just going to position that in the centre, like so. We're going to get this. I'm just going to wiggle it around a bit. Okay, right. so now we're just going to get the, some of this again. gel there like that so it's got a nice bit of gel so you might need to turn this around now at this stage and just get it where you want it make sure you can see what I'm doing Just drop this down and just make sure it's on top of the gel and then I'm just going to have a look and see if it's flat and yeah that's nice and flat you can't really see that on this one it's probably not the most contrasting of colours that I've picked but It's just there. I don't know if you can see it, but it is nice and flat. And that was a tiny accessory as well. Um, basically, this little tool here only cost, I think it was a pound, with free shipping from China. You can get different shapes. You can get them in squares, rounds, um, hearts. They all do the same thing. It's just it's what shape you want. So I picked the heart shape one. And yeah, so far it's really good for me because my nails are extremely curved naturally. Like they've just got a natural, like really tight curve in them. Like even underneath my nails, they're just naturally like tightly curved. So I do need something like this because nail accessories just don't sit flat on my nails. I don't know if it happens to anybody else. Like where it's, where when you put the gel on it, it's like all messy and you have to put loads of layers on just to make it smooth well with this tool it's basically just make it flat and add your top coat on it your encapsulation layer and it will be fine so i'm just going to try adding a top coat on that and see if one top coat layer will be enough because i've not tried that yet Or you could just add like a builder in a bottle if you've got quite a bit on and you want to cover them all up and it's quite bumpy. So I'm just going to add some new wipe top coat to this. I'm just going to add the new wipe top coat. Just to really see if it'll seal it in, you know, just the top coat. Sorry, I probably haven't picked the best bottle and it's nearly empty. This is just for test purposes. I mean, you may not want to seal in the gems, you might want them to be like a 3D effect. But some people might like to encapsulate them in. You could add glitter in the centre of your gems anything really now I know how to make these flatter I'm gonna do another video where um, I got this idea from girly nail 66 from one of her older videos where she got nail accessories on a stamping mat and turned them into like decals like put glitter and that in the center of them with like a no white top coat underneath and it does work but before I had this tool they weren't it wasn't sitting flush on the nail so it just wasn't right so I couldn't really show it you because I don't know how she managed to do it but 
I, I couldn't sit it flush on my nail so basically there was no point in showing it yeah and yeah I reckon with one more layer like you could buff that layer now let me try it and then we'll add another layer on top so you could buff this layer like this And normally like at this stage there'd be like loads of ridges in this if it was my nail. But yeah, this is gonna make it nice and smooth. And I'm just giving it a little buff. Right, so I'll just give that a little buff and I'll wipe my finger. And we'll just pop another layer of the top coat on. And I'll tell you if it's smooth and if it looks flat. Right, so I'm just going to cure that. But obviously, if you didn't want to do that, you'd have to wipe the tacky layer off the um, builder gel because with these they are nice and flat now that is nice and flat let me see if i can get a smaller one in this silver packet to show you yeah i've got these little stars so let me see if i can show you with that let me see what time we're on just going to pause the camera and then i'll just get the silver one in there and then pop it on the nail and show you that <clears throat> okay so I'm back, so I don't know if you can see that one a bit better now, I've zoomed in a little bit more, but it is nice and flat, there's nothing, nothing wrong with that at all. This is nice and flat too, there's nothing, it's not lifting up at any sides, and this one that I encapsulated, the top coat is nice and smooth, there's no ridges or root like that in it and I did that with just two top coats and a seal so really all you need is this which was a pound this which was about two pound fifty again I think this was from eBay or Born Pretty Store I'll find out um, that and then some accessories so you can get some of these wheels for like about a pound or a couple of pounds that's got mixed that's got mixed things in them like this one has it's got all sorts in it and you can create a manicure and make sure the accessories are nice and flat so sure people might already know about these but i didn't and when i saw it i thought i had to share it with you guys so here it is so i've shared it with you so i hope you've enjoyed it thanks for watching and yeah let me know if if that um intrigued you to go and buy one i'll put the link in the description box and the description for what it is it came from china so i imagine that they would ship to most places so yeah so it's definitely worth checking out and that's another one that i did on my uh, flexi finger on some dip powder nail art what i did so again that was nice and flat so yeah so yeah so i'm just going to get ready to film my next video which will be a little bit of dip powder nail art I'm going to see if I can attempt to do some of these things again. <laughs> Let me move that out of the way and show you what I'm going to do. So yeah, that's an ombre what I did with dip powder. And then this is some sequins um, encapsulated in, in dip powder and then sealed with a gel top coat. And this was my other attempt at an ombre with dip powder. And this one's not as good as that one. But hey, I was practicing, it was my first try, so yeah, and I've got some other ones as well, some roses that I did, um, yeah, so I'm going to do a few designs with dip powder in the next video, and so that's everything, so thanks for watching, bye!